Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. So I am Sandro Ardison, and I am the CEO of GFI. We are, in fact, a, a trading company specialized in precious metal trading. And uh, I was quite surprised to be invited today because we are speaking about a, a new technology, and gold is an old asset, so it was a little strange for me. But I, I accept the, the invitation because I found it very interesting to share my view about gold and cryptocurrencies. Uh, I know it's quite uh, lunchtime, so I will uh, try to do faster as I can, as I know you are hungry. So uh, I will go further. So I like this sentence from Tolstoy because it explains really what it's gold. And um, in fact, gold is the result of refining something which is starting unpure. And it becomes le more and more pure by uh, withdrawing some non-pure components like silver, rhodium, etc., etc. So just to explain my, I would say, my short career, I would say. <laughs> Um, I started my career working um, f in, uh, in a private equity group, which is the Group Frère um, in Belgium. I was trader in equities, uh, derivatives, bonds, etc. And I also made part from the private equity uh, team of the Frère Group. Uh, two years ago, around, I became CEO of GFI Gold. And uh, by working within GFI, I understood that the blockchain and cryptocurrencies could offer a great opportunities for my business, but also for a series of investors. I'm personally also investor in cryptocurrencies, and I also investor in gold. I'm investor in financial assets in private equity too. I believe blockchain and cryptocurrencies are clearly the future, uh, but we have to assess it progressively. So I like also this chart because I use it several times on the financial markets. So in each innovation or disruption, in fact, you have four steps. You have first the boom. Uh, afterwards, you have the peak, the bust, and the through. So we are clearly now in a correction mode. And I think that we will come back afterwards to the truth. There have been so many crises or so many bubbles which have exploded in the past. You have, for instance, the tulip mania. You have, you have had the bicycle bubble. You have had the dot-com bubble. You have got the subprime crisis in 2008. Huh? You have got the cryptocurrencies now. And perhaps, I don't know, it's a question, end of quantitative easing and peak of inflation around the world. I don't know if it will be the, first, the next crisis, but question raised. So, the question is, is Bitcoin the new gold? There are several banks, actors, who said that is Bitcoin the new gold? So it's a difficult question to assess. As far as I'm concerned, I think that gold is gold, Bitcoin is Bitcoin. And clearly, you don't have to change the wording of crypto, because crypto is a good word. It's a good word, sorry. And you don't need to replace the, wor the word by gold. So. Moreover, I think that gold and Bitcoin, they, they does not have the same risk and volatility. In the risk management approach, clearly, Bitcoin is more risky than gold, and it's more volatile. So I think that clearly, in the development of an asset allocation, you should consider both approach to have certainly crypto assets, but also to have gold to mitigate risk and volatility of your asset allocation. And so my conclusion is that Bitcoin does not need to be the new gold. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. It's, it's a unique concept, and it should stay like this. Alors, I like also this chart between two types of assets. Gold is the, is the water, and uh, Bitcoin is the fire. And in each relation between the, the, the water and the fire, there is what, we can, what, what, what I, I like to call the polarity of the universe. And in this polarity, in fact, you have a relation between an, uh, an old asset, which is gold, not really sexy, I can, uh, I can consider it, versus a modern asset, which is crypto. Gold has a long track record. Crypto not yet, and I hope that crypto will get it in the future. Gold is quite low risk, but also less return than uh, crypto. Crypto is higher risk, of course. 
gold is more seen like an insurance. So when you buy gold, first it's because you are fear. There is a crisis perhaps coming and you prefer to buy gold to avoid to lose your money. So it's more insurance concept. Bitcoin for the moment, it's more speculation for me. Gold is tangible and it's key. For investors who buy gold today, they buy gold because they can touch it. Uh, and obviously, this means that people who buy gold today are more old people. They are, I don't know if people around uh, 55 are old, certainly not, uh, but are more, I, I would say, experienced, I would say. So uh, crypto are digital assets, so it's quite different concept. Of, however, there is clearly a complementarity between both. I will explain it. Gold is clearly an asset reserve. Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, are asset reserve to become. I'm sure that both have key feature around asset reserve, but for me, uh, crypto are not yet enough asset reserve. Both use decentralized finance, and it's key also to, to be outside of the traditional banking system. Huh? Third point is that why is it interesting to use blockchain, for instance, for gold? Because gold has also some weaknesses. For instance, when you buy gold and you want to transmit gold from generation to generation, you lose sometimes traceability. With blockchain, you can ensure that your gold comes from one person to another and you can find back the, the, the link in the several generations which have been uh, uh, passed, I would say. Uh, you can also, thanks to uh, blockchain, apply to gold or precious metal. You can also try to convince more young people to invest in gold or precious metal. For instance, within GFI, the average year uh, age of people, of clients, is 55 years. So it's young, <laughs> but we try to reach more young people. So, so it's key for us. And so if you want to have a, a good portfolio with mitigate risk, it's key to have both in your portfolio to reduce the volatility. So this is only a chart which explains the reason why you should be diversified and why you should have both in your portfolio. This is a chart of Bitcoin in Euro since November 2021 and the, and the, the, the gold in Euro since, since the same period. And you will see the correlation is quite negative. So it was a little my speech uh, at the beginning in each innovation in each new concept you have to tackle and to find an equilibrium between an old technology, an old concept and a new one and so the time you need to accept it, it's key, it could be long but if you try, if you succeed to accept the new concept in an old world, you can come back with an interesting solution, innovation which could be interesting for your future and for your business. So I have personally no uh, as we said in French, contrecarré. I am open to each technology. I don't want to become a vieux con, I was said. And I think that I'm curious to learn every day. So for me, even though I'm in an old business, which is gold, I'm really, really interested in blockchain and in crypto. So both are possible. Alors, this is a chart I like this because when I start my career, I, w I made a lot of value investing investments. And so I read a lot of uh, documents uh, and letters from Warren Buffett. Uh, you know Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett said always, price is what you pay, value is what you get. What you get, sorry. If you pay the value first, you will lose money. So saying that, what does it mean for me? Apply to Bitcoin and gold, clearly, Today, gold is an asset reserve with an intrinsic value. Why? Because there is gold since the antiquity. People buy and sell gold every day. They like it like an insurance. So that there is really an intrinsic value. However, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies are more seen today like price instruments, even though in the future it will be applied more and more value assets. I think that we still need sometimes to make understand that Bitcoin became also an asset value. So our mission within GFI, it's clear, it's easy. It's an easy business. We trade, we buy and sell around the world. And 
our mission is only to make gold more sexy to our clients and to facilitate the client experience every day. So what does it mean? When people say, well, buying, selling gold is difficult, it's constraints because you have to come to pick up, to store it, within GFI is not the case. We have digital, we digital, we digitalize, sorry, the business model, and so today, through our technology, you can buy and sell gold like a digital asset, even though you still buy physical gold at the last. So it means that when you buy gold from us, you can benefit from a storage capacities, and you can sell your gold without coming to our office. So it's, I think it's the first step in digitalization of our job. The next step will be, and we are working on it, we are, f we are creating a, a, a group, a work group to, to develop it, sorry, which is to create our own stable coin backed by gold. So a token precisely. So our job now is to ensure GFI 3.0 for the future, and we will uh, create this token backed by gold, which will be regulated. It's key, because for us, there are so many, many tokens in the world. Regulation is an opportunity for us, and we believe that we, we should uh, tackle this issue rapidly to go to the market uh, first in Belgium. Uh, an example of kind of Bitcoin we sell within GFI we uh, this year decide to launch the commercialization, commercialization sorry, of a silver Bitcoin, which is quite a physical silver coin, uh, which is really interesting because people uh, like the concept because they buy first silver, so it's a, it's a commodity first, and they got the impression to buy a Bitcoin. This coin is one ounce, so it's 31 gram silver, and um, it's 45 euro, okay? So it's a limited production and it's silver, so it's more volatile and more, uh, I would say, um, speculative than gold, of course, because it's an industrial metal. So I have finished my presentation. I want to thank you for your question and only one sentence in gold we trust. Thank you for your attention. Uh, just to come back, so uh, question, can we buy gold on your website with cryptos and if yes, with which ones? Then I fully agree with you that you need to, let's say, uh, spread the, the knowledge to different generations about investing into gold. So here maybe, as Joachim has said this morning, maybe the education, the financial education should be there more into schools, into the uh, everyday life of average to Joe on the street. And also, I fully agree with the silver Bitcoin because, as you know, we all talk about now decarbonization and we all talk about the policy of becoming environmental more aware and silver is used a lot in the batteries for the electric cars. So this is a very good investment. Indeed. So there are many questions so I will try to answer on, on a structural way. So for quest the first question, do we sell uh, Bitcoin or on the website? Yeah. Not yet. It will, it will be the case in the future, but not yet for the moment. So, uh, regarding your question about silver and uh, the, the coin, it's clear that it's having more and more success, and it's a quite a product to attract young generations. Because I think that we should learn what is Bitcoin, blockchain to young people, it's key. But the time you are living now, with uh, the bubble, which is quite a little exploding, it's quite interesting to know. I've lived several crises in my life. Uh, I've lived the crisis in 2001, uh, uh, 2003, 2008, and I, I think it's important to, to live a crisis because it's, it, it makes it make us modest, and, 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 and we understand that sky is not the limit, and we understand also that everything is possible, and emotionally speaking, it's important to live a crisis because you can adapt your behavior your investor behavior in the future based on your experience and your past experience. And most of the time, as I explained in the chart, the, 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 the second chart of the presentation, the story is always the same. There, there is always 
disruption, innovation, attractiveness. A lot of people goes down. Afterwards, it explodes, but it creates again a new vague, a new wave, sorry. So it means that today what we are living is very interesting to know, to understand, and take this experience for the future because the, the future will be stronger. Well, Sandro, thanks a thanks lot. A lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, good lunch, thank you.